everybody it's your girl Renee Yvonne with a life chronicles I thought that I would take this opportunity to talk to you whoever's watching today this video was intended for you um, but just to create this video to share a little bit about my story and to hopefully encourage you and inspire you no matter where you are in life but I wanted to create this video because I'm going through an evolving and an ascension of assertiveness. And assertiveness, if you don't know, means to basically be more present and aware of certain situations, to be able to speak up um, when there are certain circumstances or situations that you find yourself in to where you are not resting in that high evolved freedom joyful place where God wants you to reside to manifest everything in your life that God wants you to manifest and um, I've been taught in life you know I'm now in my 30s but I've been taught in life to sweep a lot of things under the rug so that I basically would end up in situations where, you know, somebody might say something that, you know, didn't sit well with me, but instead of me confronting them head on and, and knowing how to effectively communicate in the moment, what I would do was be offended in the moment, act like everything is okay, and then go home and I'd be sitting and thinking about it and I'm really upset about what just happened. But I wouldn't have the courage or the support from anyone around me to help me really tackle on these things. So what it began to do in my life was create a cycle of pain, a cycle of distraction. And um, it created a place where the enemy could basically come into my world and create dissension or discord or unhappiness, uh, disappointment. And... I've seen this play out in my life in so many different relationships, whether they be, you know, intimate relationships, relationships with friends, family, even my kids, you know. And so, um, you know, I'm now at a position where I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, and I'm doing something actively in my life to change the narrative because the definition of insanity is to do the same thing but expect a different result and I wasted a lot of time in my life by doing that by believing that I was actually doing something that was better or evolved and I kept ending up in this situation so you know becoming more conscious has allowed me to see hey you know what you're you're ending up in this situation again like take a look at yourself I don't have any control over anybody else in the world um, but one thing that I do have control over is myself. Uh, the decisions that I'm making, the things that I'm thinking, the way that I perceive things, you know, um, uh, my interactions with people and so on. And so I began to really take a look at myself and notice that, hey, you know, you got to change something, girlfriend. You got to do something different in order to get a different result. And so with that, I'm getting sick and tired of sick I'm getting sick and tired of being sick and tired has led me to this place where I'm taking a good look at myself and it is time for the cycle to break like it is breaking I see it loosing from my life the more assertive and aware and conscious I'm becoming of my actions and decisions I'm open and God is showing me you know what you could do this differently next time and it's okay to communicate these things you don't have to worry about if somebody likes you or not you don't have to worry about if you're gonna make a new friend or not or they're not gonna like you whatever whatever it is that's holding you back from speaking your truth and just being and being joyful and happy and and um, having real true authentic relationships like God is showing me what I need to do and I've been stepping in this place which has been a fearful place for me for a long time in my life now acknowledging that and God is rewarding me and and I'm getting the fruits thereof so right now um, it brings me to this moment all I saying all of that uh, which led me to this moment to where I um, had felt like I could I found a, I went on Google I'm a Google 
Tumblr. So I went on Google living at this new place and I found a hairstylist that um, had great ratings, reviews, and I gave her a call. We hit it off right off the bat. Talked to her. I told her that I wanted honey blonde locks. I wanted honey blonde locks and um, that I wanted honey blonde locks and I wanted my hair twisted. So she quoted me a price. We agreed on it. She told me to put down a deposit on it. I did that and I got in on an amazing date at an amazing time and went to the appointment. So something happened in between our communication um, to where I guess I didn't she perceived that I wanted the tips of my locks done and not my whole head um, which was what I was trying to convey in the first place but she ended up dying the tips of my locks and uh, me not having my hair pretty much dyed or even naturally in any capacity since 2002 is a really long time I'm really walking into this blind and um, we didn't do an initial consultation when I sat down. I just assumed that she knew what I was and what I wanted and what I was talking about. So, anywho, she dyed the tip of my locks and um, what I, um, I communicated with her throughout the process that, you know, hey, I wanted my hair done further. She only booked me for um, a color, is what she said, so she didn't even book me with enough time to twist my hair. So, I walked away and this is what I walked away with. Um, you know, I had been communicating with her and had begun to hold her to a higher standard and really communicate to her my truth. And it wasn't from a mean place. I didn't call her out of her name or anything, but I just communicated with her from a real place versus, you know, in the past, I probably would have just had an attitude, walked away, or, you know, I would have came and rolled up in her spot and, you know, called her up on her stuff. But, um, it's leading me taking a different action towards uh, in this situation, which is really important because my hair is really important to me as I feel like it is for any lady. Um, by me taking these different actions has led to me now on the way to getting my hair done the way that I want. And so, I mean, I think the hairstyle is cute, but the issue is that it's not what I envisioned. It's not what I wanted. So whoever you are and you're watching this, don't ever settle for less than whatever is in your mind from anybody, um, whether that be your hairstylist or the person that you're with in a relationship, whether it be with yourself, you know, look at how many things in your life we we have been taught this slave mentality that we should just settle for whatever we're given and enough with that. You know, we serve a God who does the exceeding and the abundance and that he is within us. And so that is the same expectation to where we should live our lives. In every situation that we go in with somebody, we should always expect the exceeding abundance. We should always expect the exceeding abundance above, beyond whatever we had thought about something in the first place. Like with my hair, the expectation that I, if I would have walked into this situation expecting that my hair was going to be beyond like this or beyond the thought of what it's going to be, okay, then I would have come bringing that energy and I would have gotten what I wanted. And so I'm, I'm you know, once again recording this just to encourage whoever's watching this it's it's definitely for you i don't know what's going on in your life personally to where you know you're making these decisions but what i do know is personally that if we're if i'm doing this with my hair i have to acknowledge that i'm doing this in other areas and avenues and it's the same with you um if you in any way are being passive aggressive in any circumstance then you're doing it in some other areas as well. And so I just want to encourage you that it's never too late. If God is giving you today to recognize um, an area of needed change or an area that you need to evolve in, then take the challenge. Like God sees it in you. And that's why you're here today. It's because you have the opportunity to do something different, to evolve yourself differently so that you can get your exceeding abundance in your life and whatever that looks like. So don't settle for less in life. Go in expecting something because you are going to do your due diligence and be very intentional in your workings towards getting that thing. Then the exceeding abundance is going to occur. 
God's going to bless that. So going with that mentality in the future, I hope that my story was helpful to you or encouraging to you. Don't settle for less. Expect the exceeding abundance because you are worth it. Even if you don't think that you are, God knows that you are. Be empowered by that. Make better choices. Think better things. Speak better things. Have better engagements with people. And watch what God is going to do. Thanks for watching, y'all. Be blessed.